Hello everyone. It's a nice Monday night. Not particularly cold for a January evening, but not particularly warm for one either. Oh well. You do what you do, and you take what you take. I love swimming. Indeed I do. I love it so much that I go to swimming at my pool five times a week, which is not easy because I go to a college and I have to <laughs> find ways to get times to go which is not fun and it's not easy to figure this out on the schedule but and I learned how to swim when I was a child my parents put me through swimming classes and I'm pretty good at swimming I'm not a professional I don't know how to dive which is weird I just don't want to try it I guess. But you know something I don't like about swimming? This. What is this? I'll tell you what this is. It's a typical swimming suit for men. However, the inside of it has this stuff. This is not good. Why is it here? I never understood why. I looked it up. It's called swimming trunk mesh. However, I have never enjoyed it rubbing up against me and it hurts this head and this one. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It hurts my cock head. This stuff hurts my cock head. I do not like it. It's the worst. I just no. I mean, if I have any reason to hate not having a foreskin, it's this stuff. And the only way I can keep my head safe is by wearing these things. Yeah. Imagine how uncomfortable these were when I put them on for the first time. Yeah. Not fun. No. And I remember two years ago, wait no, hold on. Summer 2014, for the first time in my life, I finally complained about these damn things. And my parents' responses is, we're not going to buy you something that doesn't have them. Because I'm pretty sure they don't even know if one exists. I mean, I don't even think I know if one exists. The only type of swimwear I can think of that doesn't have this are Speedos. And I don't want to try that. No. No. Uh-uh. Uh, just, no. Just no. However... I do have my own way of getting around this. It's called tugging. Yes, tugging. It's called taking the skin that remains and stretching on it, tugging on it. Have you ever seen people who have earlobes that stretch down so far? Then you're like wondering how they do that. It's because they wear incredibly heavy earrings that stretches on it. I'm never going to want to do that, but the similar concept applies down here. Yes. And I know you, th you think it's weird, Every everyone watching this. I don't care. I really don't. But my biggest problem was finding time to do this. A lot of people buy devices. I can't do that, because if I buy a device, my parents will see it, and they will never look at me the same way again. I mean, I'm not even comfortable with them knowing that I wear this. Unfortunately, my mom found out. How'd, the, how'd she find out? I was in a car accident, and I had a lot of these in a bag, and she put two and two together that I use these things. So, there you go. I mean... There are two different things I can do to make sh actually, no, swimming trunk mesh is not the only thing that bothers me. All pants I wear throughout my entire life have bothered my cock head. And I'm wondering, am I in the minority on this one? Am I the only person that feels intense pain when he wears regular pants because it rubs up against your cock head? Am I? Because I've tried asking my brother. He says he's never felt pain, not even with this stuff. 
I feel like I'm a very overly censored, sensitive person. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. I'm just waiting for the day where I don't have to wear this damn thing anymore. Because I'll have something down there to keep my cockhead from being annoyed. It'll be a very happy day. Or maybe I won't get any happier. Maybe I'll be just as miserable then as I am now. Oh my god. It's not fun. So, I have found time to do this. It's called When I Listen to a French Tape. I didn't think about this before, but I have my own dorm all to myself. It takes me about a half an hour to listen to the entirety of a French tape. And all I have to do is listen. So, while I'm listening, you know, I have my hands somewhere else. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. It's actually pretty easy. You just have to find time. That's all you have to do. But when you're in college, finding time is the hardest thing to do. I'd rather be working a job just because when you work a job, you go somewhere, you work while you're there, and then you come home, you, like, you do some errands, you do some housework, and then you set up events with all your friends and family. And that's your life. It's your life. But when you're in college, you have to set a t you have to go to classes and then set aside a lot of time for studying. Like twice as much studying outside of class than in class, depending on what you have to do. So all to all swimsuit companies, can you tell me why this is in here? Like why you make swimming suits that have this uncomfortable mesh? I mean, try rubbing this up against your face. I don't like it rubbing up against my face. I don't get it. I mean, uh, I, I haven't worn this in months. This is clean. Don't like it. Don't like it. Just don't like it. You know, these things, I can fit three of them on me, which is a lot more than I could before. You're probably wondering, how do I put them on? Well, you, I can't show you. I don't really want to show you. And if I do show you, this video is going to get age restricted or removed. But that doesn't stop a lot of people. I found a video of a guy putting a condom on his actual dick. He doesn't just use a cucumber. Why didn't he use a cucumber? And why didn't you put the video on a porn site? Damn you. Ugh. It's YouTube's age restriction rules. It's not a good thing. And you know, I mentioned before that I try learning French. I have to take it in college as a part of my major. My recommendation for people who take language classes, don't, unless you have to for your major, or if you actually want to major in it and get a fancy degree in a language. Outside of that, stick to language tapes and use these if you really need help. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm right now, things to say. What's the message of the day? Try to fit, try to not buy swimming trunks that have mesh in it for guys, especially if they're kids, just because no one likes them. And don't support circumcision because that's why we hate these damn things. Because no one likes that stuff rubbing up against your cockhead. Like, try rubbing up, rubbing up against your face and then rubbing up against your dick. You're not going to like it. I mean, girls out there, have you tried... All your bathing suits are bikini bottoms that don't have this stuff. Imagine rubbing this mesh stuff up against your crotch. You're not going to like it. No, you're not going to like it. 
that's my rant for the night. See ya.